Hello everyone, today we're going to be installing the S5 Mini Wallipop port version 4 ROM. It is a ROM that consists of many Galaxy S5 and Galaxy S6 ported applications as well as the Galaxy S6 look. In order to be able to install this ROM, you need to have a custom recovery and you need to have downloaded the zip file into your SD card. You can find the download link in the description. Once you have installed a custom recovery and you have the ROM zip file, boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, volume up and power at the same time. It is highly recommended that you are on a stock ROM before flashing this ROM. And I also highly recommend that you use Fuse Touch because it has the option to do a full data wipe, which also uh, formats the system partition. First thing you need to do is you need to choose Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and choose Clean to install a new RAM. And then choose Yes to confirm. Sorry about that, I misclicked. Choose Wipe Data, Clean to install a new RAM, and choose Yes. And once it is done, you may go back into the main menu, choose install zip, install zip from storage SD card 1. Scroll down until you find the Galaxy, uh, the ROM zip file, S5 Lollipop version 4, here it is. Select that, and select yes to install. Now be patient. It should take about 5-6 to six seconds, you'll be in the Aroma installer screen. Now this is what I like about this ROM, you also have a choice on what kind of apps you want to install, and which ones you don't want to install. There we go, so first we choose the language, I'm just going to use English of course. And now you can do it uh, two ways, you can do a custom installation or you can do a typical installation. The typical installation basically installs everything without asking you what you want and what you don't want. With the custom installation choice you get to choose what you want to be included. So I'm going to choose custom obviously to show you. Then we're going to tap on start, read this and agree. Next. We have the uh, change lock. Next again. You do not really need to wipe data again because we already did that. So that's uh, useless. Next, choose your model name. The 3G variant, the duo SIM, the European 4G, or the Latin American uh, 4G variant. In my case, it is the European 4G. I'm gonna choose next. Then choose your country. The app drawer columns. Choose what you want. Uh, app shortcuts, by default this is always no. I always choose no. Here we have some Google applications. Personally I need all of these, so I'm uh, gonna choose all of these. And here you have the Samsung apps. So personally these are the apps I do not use. So I pretty much do not like to use my magazine and flipboard. So I'm going to choose next. You also have some mods which you can install. The 3 uh, minute battery mod. Um, in my opinion it's kind of uh, crappy. So I always do not choose that. You can also install exposed module, a uh, framework sorry. And the Viper for Android mod. I always choose this one. Because I like to enhance my music. Choose next. And uh, you can also choose some additional applications, Frost Player, Internet Pop-Ups, uh, Hovering Control. I may have already made a video about this application with the gestures and everything else. And you can also install additional themes, which I'm going to show you in a bit once the ROM finishes installing. Now choose Next. And here you can also select what you want the left capacitive button to do. I believe in the Galaxy S5 it, uh, it's for multitasking. So yeah, you can make it... Uh, to use it as a, as a multitasking button, but I always use it as an options. I'm used to holding the home button to go to my to multitask. So let's choose next, and finally we can choose install. Now be patient. And the installation is finally complete. You may now tap on next, choose reboot, and as you can see, error zero, everything went fine. Uh, choose reboot, but if it's already chosen, tap on finish. And there you go. Now once again you need to wait for the first boot as it may be a little um, slower than usual as you know. And okay after long waiting the ROM has finally booted. Now you can choose your own language here. I usually use English all the time. So I'm gonna switch to English. So yeah you see a little wag um, on the first boot here. It doesn't even display the languages. 
but yeah, it's gonna get better over time. And, uh, let's see now, English, United States, start. Here we have the Wi-Fi networks. So yeah, this is a uh, quite a quite an issue. White on white, te white text on white background. But not on every menu. Sometimes you can still see the text. Now to type in my password. I usually always disable the location uh, settings. Here we have a name. Can't really type that in right now. So I'm just gonna skip. Samsung account. I usually always skip this one as well. And finally we are done. But, but as you can see it has the lollipop setup wizard look. And it also has the Galaxy Note um, 4 weather widget. You can just add your location here. So here we also have the multi window tray. You can disable this from the um, toggles over here. I believe it was over here somewhere. But as you can see, um, the new look on the status bar and toggle buttons looks pretty cool. We also have the new launcher, the new icons as you can see, the new touch with look, which looks uh, quite better than the old one which we had on the stock ROM Sonor Galaxy S4 Mini. So now let us take a quick look at the app that I want to see what we have. These are the applications which you get. The previous versions, such as the version 3, was quite a bit bloated, but this one is a bit more cleaned. As you can see, these are the applications we have at the moment, and most of these are ported from the Galaxy S5 or Galaxy S6. The gallery. Um, the settings, some uh, external applications which we usually do not get with the Galaxy S4 Mini as you can see. We also have kids mode. Let us take a quick look at the settings. As you can see, the new look looks pretty sweet. We also have a power saving mode as well as ultra power saving mode which actually, which actually works. Let me just show you. And there we go, as you can see, it w it kind of works. Um, seem to have gotten some kind of error message, but let me just try again. Phone, it doesn't appear now. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it off now. Okay, we're back at the home screen. So as I already told you, you also have my magazine, which I have not included and uh, the flipboard briefing so yeah, i cannot show you these and you also have teams which is pretty neat um, you can use the android l style the lg g3 style meizu miui and many others as you can see ios as well as uh, even windows phone let me just do a quick demonstration if i choose lg and apply the look is going to change to the lg g3 there we go the icons and everything else so this is a pretty neat add-on to this ROM to have a team manager. Okay, back to TouchWiz. So yeah, the new browser. I already showed you that. You have GearFit Manager, new gallery. Here is what the new dialer looks like. The cow walks, contacts. The music player. You also have the new S Health. Studio, scrapbook, S Planner, new voice recorder. And as I already mentioned, ultra power saving mode. Also, here is a quick demonstration of multi window just to show you that it works. So, for example, I'm gonna open up my files at the top and I'm gonna open up the internet browser down here. And as you can see, it is working. Simply need to exit then, and voila! So, that's pretty much it 
from me uh, for this ROM. In my opinion, it looks beautiful. For those of you who are fans of the new Samsung uh, Galaxy TouchWiz look, this ROM is definitely for you. Now, if some of you happen to experience uh, constant lag, especially lag in the Google Chrome browser, I advise you to install the kernel called Brisk, as well as a zip file which has performance enhancement. And that is all everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please hit the like button, if you haven't subscribed already please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future, also I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have, I do app reviews, I comment on things, I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff, so yeah, you can check it out if you like, once again thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time, goodbye.